match Hammer and I by the bug like swamps and vines They get a rise out of frogs and flies And when a dog fights off time thrives What a cost to life The mouse water on a fork and knife And the allure is not right No score on a war torn beach Where the cash cows actually beef Blood turns wine when I leap for police Like that's not a riot, it's a beast Let's And I will remember your name and face On a day you were judged by the funhouse cast And I will rejoice in your fall from grace What it came to the sky like none shall pass You're listening to iCannabisRadio.com. Hello, and welcome to All About Cannabis with Jennifer Murray. I've missed you guys. It's been two weeks. Um, But the sad part about it is this will be Jennifer's last show Mm -hmm. for... um, for some time, hopefully not very long, but we really got to get together and ramp up for mandatory testing. So um, I really need to do that. But uh, I wanted to introduce Jane West. Hi, Jennifer. Wow, you have a nice radio voice. Um, Jane West has such an awesome story, and she like, whew, came in here like a fireball, the industry, I mean. So we have great things to talk to her about. Uh, but first, a few things. I got a call this morning from Lewis Kosky of the Medical Marijuana Enforcement Division, which I guess is the Marijuana Enforcement Division. Oh, my God. Chris has his uh, dog here, a pit bull named Gnu, and literally is spread eagle, flat. You got to take a picture of that. That is so cute. He's a little chicken thigh legs. I know. Little frog legs. Anyway. So he called me to talk about how they're going to have a meeting with the labs and the MIT system and stuff. And we started talking and he reminded me that laboratories that are licensed, like mine now, are not allowed to take samples from patients, caregivers, or anyone over 21. So as you can see, I got a little frustrated about that. Um, First of all, it's ridiculous that a patient can't bring in something to be tested because obviously if they're bringing it in, they uh, they felt either sick or they didn't get the effects they wanted or, you know, the opposite, whatever it is, they they deserve uh, to do that. And and so I can't believe it. Then you have the caregivers that have a license to grow for other people because, you know, growing's hard. Everybody doesn't want to do it. So let's say, you know, I have a sick relative, a sick aunt, and I grow for her, mm-hmm. and I can't even test that cannabis to, to see how much, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's unbelievable. And then the last thing is um, you can grow six plants. That's, that's a lot of plants. Six plants, but you can't test them. It, 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 I just, there's an absolutely no logic to that whatsoever. So, um, I'm really upset because we do test a fair amount for patients and people that make medicine for their children and, or relatives. So, um, we're trying to figure out what mm-hmm. that's going to look like. Cause I can't even imagine turning somebody down. Uh, no, you can't test this oil to make sure it doesn't have a lot of THC in it so you can give it to your ch- child. Yeah, no, I can't help you out with that. I mean, I'm really disgusted. Hmm. Um, you know, we we thought we've co- we came farther here in Colorado, and I feel like we're in some state that's never even handled marijuana before mm-hmm. sometimes. Um, so I'm a little upset about that. If anybody out there has uh, any ideas or you know, what we should do about that. Maybe it's legislation, you know, maybe it's pay a lobbyist, but um, it's absolutely ridiculous and makes no sense. So that's the first thing. The second thing is it is my last show and I wanted to talk about all the people that um, made this possible for me to do and expand my horizons, get out of my comfort zone, even though people think that I talk all the time anyway. But um, I, it really was getting out of my comfort zone. And I first want to thank uh, Georgia, 
uh, for letting, for allowing me to do this and uh, encouraging me to do this. Um, and actually, I want to uh, thank the Stanley brothers because they are the ones that got um, my previous chemist, Chris Stubbs, on an eye for Science Corner on their radio show. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty cool. And then they couldn't continue, and so I did. So I want to thank the, the Stanley brothers for that. Thanks, boys. And then, of course, I want to thank my awesome producer, Chris. He's made this so much fun. <laughs> He's made this such a fun time. And yet, uh, you know, I could always count on him. He's been super awesome, and I'm going to miss him. Um, and then I want to thank my first host, which was Jill Lamoro. Love you, Lam Lam. She uh, really helped me get this show off to a good start. We had a great contest um, last year. Uh, somebody won a flight and a hotel and everything, took us wow. to the Cannabis Cup. It was pretty cool. Awesome. Um, so uh, Jill is awesome, but then she got too busy and couldn't. And so Tamar, um, Tamar, who used to work for Dixie and is a scientist, she was my next host. So I want to thank her. We had a lot of great um, science talk, except she had to gen it down a lot of times. Um, <laughs> she's a very smart cookie. And, um, and then I want to thank all my sponsors, which of course, if I didn't have sponsors, I probably couldn't have done this. And Can Labs wasn't a sponsor. <laughs> How sad. Anyway, so Canisher, Patrick with Canisher. Canisher was a company that Uh, It's an insurance company for the marijuana industry, and it was awesome because Patrick's from Ohio, and his family is in insurance, and he was smart enough to see the opportunity in the industry, and he saw that a lot of people had insurance they thought they had but really didn't because of the small print and marijuana, and so he really started his business off educating people, and then naturally, we support him. So... um, so I, I, I mean, and he even beat my last insurance price. So call Canisher or Canisher.com, and that's two S's. And then Canapunch. Uh, Canapunch, had, I had to work really hard to get their account from Can Labs. Um, but then once we could prove that we had uh, a, a science that um, – you know, that was accurate all the time on the drinks because the drinks were a little bit tricky. Uh, but I earned his business and he has been so great to me and has him and everybody at Canna Punch. Um, thank you so much. And then Medically Correct, so the incredible bars. I uh, remember, when, when did they come on the scene? I think two years ago. And I was in Avita Wellness or Avita, Avita, however you say it. And I was there for a, a patient's appreciation, and this this kid was there with this this magical bar. I mean, from the second I saw the branding, the flavors, um, he was handing out um, samples to red card holders um, for a cent or something because you couldn't give it away free then. And um, and I was like, oh my god, what is this? And we started talking, and I. Um, not only love their product, but they're they're amazing guys, Josh, Rick, and I'm sure I'm forgetting all the other ones that you've hired since I haven't seen you in five months. Um, but thank you so much. You've always been wonderful in supporting Can Labs and my radio show. And then speaking of Ivita, uh, they also sponsored my radio show. I go way back um, with the owner of Avita uh, to about 13 or 14 years old. Um, they were testing with me, and then I found out that I, I knew him. It was pretty funny. So thank you so much. You know who you are for sponsoring the show and um, seeing the foresight to get in this industry as well. And then my most recent sponsor, Extraction Tech, uh, my boys Marcus and Matt, um, they make a closed-loop um, butane propane butane propane extraction uh, machine closed loop, which is awesome. It is um, UL listed, I believe it is. And uh, um, fire, the fire marshals already give it a certificate, all of that. So um, check them out. And then Greenworks, of course, the home of the R4. 
uh, which is a very high CBD strain. And uh, they gave out um, – it's so hard to say things on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they did a great deed at the uh, Cannabis Cup last year So, um, to spread the love for the R4 because it really is uh, a staple, I believe, in most of the CBD genetics, whatever it's called, Harlequin or whatever. I think a lot of it um, stems from the same – the same strains. I could be wrong. We need more science. And then, of course, the farm. My uh, Lady Jan up in Boulder, uh, one of the nicest, uh, most educated staff, uh, beautiful facility. Um, she actually lost her original location, which was off Pearl Street, but ended up in such a better location, I believe, off Iris and is it 28th? I don't know. I don't go to Boulder a lot. But it's amazing. And she has a full array of edibles and hummingbird products. From um, She was uh, one of the first to have a CO2 extraction uh, machine. She, um, a long time ago, three years ago, three and a half years ago. And then, of course, Dixie. Not only did Tamar work there, but I've tested for Dixie for years. Dixie has tested from day one. First with Full Spectrum and then with Can Labs, and we appreciate all their business. They have um, their rebranding is genius from the flavors Mandarin, um, and what else do they have? Like a cranberry sparkle or something? I don't know. I love it. Um, and then my largest sponsor and dear to my heart is Ideal 420 Soil, which used to be Blue Sage Microbes. Um, I always have a story with all these people. So um, it was an NCIA. Uh, it was all. It was a year and a couple months ago. NCIA they sponsored an event. No one had heard heard of them. Kind of like you, Jane. They just came whew, <laughs> flowing in, and they sponsored an event. And it's Tim and Rich. And um, anyway, so I knew their name and everything. And then I had this guy come in. And he's like, "Yeah, I need to test these soil sam- or these uh, cannabis samples." There was five of them. And clearly, uh, he said, I'm doing um, some research. And I got the results back, and clearly the potency had climbed and then and then plateaued. Mm-hmm. So you knew it, there's no way he could have faked it. Mm-hmm. And I said, so what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm using this soil called Ideal f- or Blue Sage mm-hmm. Soil. And I was like, you're kidding me. So immediately I called up, and I started to talk to them and explain what I did mm-hmm. and how what I saw. And I said, I'd, I'd be happy to give it to you so you can show people. Mm-hmm. Because my lab staff was very suspicious, and I'm like, okay, well – you know, um, let's uh, let's do a study where you give some soil and then I'll do the testing mm-hmm. for free and same thing. I mean, it's same just, thing. yeah. And it's all about, again, consistency. I yeah. mean, how can you grow a plant if your soil is not consistent? And right. it wasn't. Like they would test it and it'd be like really high in boron and, lo- you know, all over the place. And, and it's like totally obvious. Mm-hmm. So um, anyway, so they've become near and dear to my heart, and I've spent uh, quite a bit of time with them, and they're great guys. So thank you, Tim and Rich. Um, They will have a big booth at High Times, which I'm sure probably everybody that I talked about will as well. But anyway, normally, Jane, I don't sit here and talk like that. No, this has been good. But I had to get some things off my chest. This show has quite a (laughs) legacy. Yes. It's been almost, let's see, Chris, a year, I think a year and two months, because I started at the end of January last year. Wow. Yeah. Think of how far you've come in such a short amount of time. (laughs) I just watched the video, and it's hilarious. You can totally see me progressing. Um, But it was funny, because at the beginning of the show, I would always tell people, don't cuss, don't, because, and I cuss more than most people. But I'm like, I really, because I want this show Mm -hmm. to, um, you know, reach out to parents and stuff and and to get educated. And so at the beginning, I set it up like a little encyclopedia where they could go, okay, extraction, growing, you know, but Mm -hmm. then you're so limited in who's listening to you. So then I, because it was called In the Lab with Jennifer. Mm -hmm. And then Chris is like, you know, you should change it so it doesn't pigeonhole you. And I did. And he was right. So then I started talking about stocks and having guests on and I think people enjoy that more because we take it for granted that I see like Chris every day but Mm -hmm. you know these people are famous to other people like famous and it's like 
we're here all day, every day. It's just, I don't know. We, we need to step back and smell the roses, that's for sure, because I complain way too much about stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> and Chris is giving me the break signal, so we'll be right back. Canapunch is a delicious and effective medical marijuana beverage proudly made right here in Colorado. Each bottle is freshly infused with 100% pure flower extract from the highest grade marijuana plants available today. Using proprietary extraction methods, every bottle of Canapunch is consistently and reliably infused with an exact milligram dosage that you can count on to relieve your symptoms each and every time. Canapunch is delicious. There's never any medicine-y taste. We use only 100% cannabis flowers. No trim or byproducts are ever used in Canapunch. It does not require refrigeration and comes in convenient, resealable, multi-dose bottles from 60 milligrams to 200 milligrams we have drinks with dosage that works best for you can of punch is available in a variety of delicious flavors like black cherry watermelon pineapple mango and blue raspberry and we now have strain specific beverages available just for you can of punch is delicious convenient consistent and effective give it a try and experience the can of punch difference Call Canisher at 1-800-420-5757 for all your insurance needs. Canisher understands the risks you face each day, and we are there to protect your business and your investment. Since 2010, Canisher has been serving the cannabis industry nationwide. Call Canisher at 1-800-420-5757 or visit us on the web at canisher.com to learn more about our insurance and risk management services. Proud member of the NCIA. I'm Gary Johnson, and you're listening to iCannabis Radio, and I want to say, talk it up, Colorado. All right. What? I like that ad. I know. That's what I was talking about, because it's pink, and you're not used to seeing pink. We just saw this cool ad in Culture Magazine. But um, so enough, I I was trying to tell Jane, I'm like, my shows really aren't like that. Like, you really do get to say something. (laughs) But anyway, so it's very intriguing. Um. I don't know if I first saw it on Facebook or if somebody was talk- telling me about this party. and um, But I did see it on Facebook, and I'm like, huh, that's intriguing. And it looked like a an upscale party. Um, tickets were about $150, uh, all-you-can-eat, top-of-the-line food. But I didn't know that then. So all-you-can-eat food, drinks, um, and bring your own BYOC, bring your own cannabis. So as you know, in Colorado, uh, about the only place you can smoke is your house or your friend's house. Um, And not if your friend lives in a non-cannabis building. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we we need this. And it's not a club. You don't pay for it all year. Mm -hmm. You just pick the events you can go to. So I was like, oh, that's cool. So then I get a call from Christy Lunsford, who worked for Dixie then. And she's like, hey do you want to go to this cool party? And I'm like, let me guess. And she's like, yeah, how do you know? And I was like, word spreads fast. So Christy and I went and we had such a great time. And and Jane introduced herself and she's like this classy, um, you know, professional woman who's so excited to be here with, you know, other uh, people in the industry. Like she kind of greeted us like we're famous and it was kind of cool. So, um, you are famous. Oh God. So anyway, so that's Jane, by the way. And I've been to two of the parties and such a great time. They have been fun. So how did this happen? I mean, <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah. Tell me the story. Um, so... I've always produced events. That's what I do for a living. I've done fundraisers and conferences, and right now I'm doing it nationwide. Uh, or I, I was doing it nationwide at the time. So <laughs> five hours ago, right? <laughs> we'll get like to that. that, right? Um, so I, in the fall, we I went out to dinner with a friend, and before dinner, we um, tried a new edible, and we had such a great time. And the dinner was awesome, and we were just – it was just a really great night. The next morning, we were commenting on how we weren't hungover. We, like, were laughing about all the jokes we had made up (laughs) over the course of the evening. And we started talking, and I said, you know, I think after January 1st, I can, like, throw parties, like – where you cannot smoke pot in them and we can do different like things and different themes. And, and honestly, before that, I wasn't even like, I was not part of passing amendment 64. I was not political about it. 
um, and it should have been, and I had no idea of what was building here. And, um, and so then I started reading about it, and I was like, oh, I think I can do this party thing, and started reaching out to people in the industry. Um, I got in touch with my 420 tours, and they kind of like were like, oh, well, maybe you should contact them. This is what we're doing. You should contact uh, Warren Edson. You should figure out this, and I don't know the answer. And then You're in Warren Edson's building, FYI. Uh, <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. It's, it's kind of like full circle because that's where I started. That's awesome. Walking in the store. Yeah. Okay. So, um, he, so he and I came up with like a disclosure, and I was like, okay, next step, next step. And on the way, we put together this great event series. So there's one event every single month, mm-hmm. and they all have kind of different themes. And we are selling tickets to people coming in from out of state, which is fun because they're course. kind of planning their weekend here around it. So right. that's great. Um, so. Then I was looking, started looking for sponsors for the event and then kept going into different businesses that I thought might want to do it. Sure. So I went and I went to Incredibles and met with Bob and I went to Open Vape and I met Todd Mitchum and his team there and I went to Dixie. And then you just started learning how incredible this community is and these businesses and what they're all doing. And then I just kept meeting more people. And, and I've always worked out of my house, so – I'm not used to having coworkers and people I can see every day. That, right. Yeah. And it's kind of fun, especially when they're these super passionate people who are all doing – like there's no – there's one point in almost every meeting I have where I'm like, that is such a cool idea. Um, I know. Whatever it, it is every, you're doing. Like every day something happens to where I'm like, God, that's so right? cool. <laughs> and that m- last month seems like a million years away already. I know, doesn't it? Yeah. So, no, but it's been really, really great. Um so the so then the events just kept going and building and um, yeah I okay so the first event happened and it was supposed to be kind of an underground series that was the whole plan oh really yeah, yeah I mean it was just gonna be once a month and that that was kind of where um, the Jane West thing theme came from too like okay. speakeasies are kind of like Got a new it. bar theme so this is kind of like along those lines that's yeah so yeah it was just supposed to be like a once a month underground thing um like i produced conferences the last 10 days so one four hour party was like Nothing. something that was kind of fun to do right and then it, we just started getting so much press and people were talking about it and all of that was happening while i was getting to know everyone in the industry so well and right all of a sudden i woke up one morning and i was actually like producing these events for the industry and, um, yeah, and we got a bunch of media coverage. Um, and no one's doing this, FYI, right? Well, people are doing events, and people actually are trying to do events. With, like as a, No, an event planner in this industry, like a wedding planner, no. a cannabis planner. No. Yeah. yeah. No one in this space does that. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and it's fun. Good it's for you. It's fun to be. That's awesome. Yeah. And Celia is such a great group. So. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's about. It's, it's about creating jobs. Mm-hmm. And it's Absolutely. about getting our country – away from debt. Like, uh, if any way it's going to happen, it's going to happen with cannabis. Um, but yeah, so the parties are so fun. She has a, uh, a, what's it called? A picture box, photo box, photo you, booth, photo, there's a photo booth. booth. Photo yep. Booth. There's a photo booth. There's so always a fun. little area to like chill out in. And like last for threesome with Mary Jane, it was make your own Valentine. The time before that we did like a connect four row of tables. So there's like a chill out area and then there's more of like a social area. Um, DJ. Kind of, yeah. DJ, DJ in bar. the summer bar, bar. Um, so even if maybe you or your date, like one of you chooses to consume cannabis, the other wants to have alcohol, you can both be at the same event, have a great time. See, how great is that? Because it's usually nice. people that um, smoke, I mean, you could go to the bar, but you can only go to the bar for a little while. And then you're just like either tired right. or you're just like, don't want to be surrounded by drunk people. Right. You right. know, or you right. just want to chill with your buddies where drinking is more, definitely more of a go out. Right. You, you don't care because you're running into people too kind of right. thing. <laughs> right. So this way it all can happen in the same right. space. Yeah. No, that's, so, nice. that's so great. And I spoke at CU, um, just a small part of CU. Um, <laughs> and <clears throat> it was so great to tell these, these this young generation that uh, there are so many jobs out there for them. Yes. Like you can do anything, even if you don't partake in cannabis, who cares? Right. Join in, right. build an industry. You can be in they need real graphic estate, design cannabis, work. Right. graphic Absolutely. design. I mean, because there's so many, right. there's so many industries that um, shun away from us anyway. And so for those people that want to start a business, if you get the cannabis industry behind right. you, 
I mean, it, it'll be forever. Like, we'll, we take care of our own. And I posted today, did you see my post? So two <laughs> PR companies, Ground Floor Media and Linhart in Colorado, PR companies, would not even talk to me to discuss what my business did. Um, they just knew it was marijuana and said they don't do that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Big mistake. So, right, right. You're Big like, mistake. Like, this Julie is going to be a scene. billion, if not trillion yes. dollar business. Yes. You are crazy. But see, that's why, because we have these great agencies starting, like Canna Brand mm-hmm. and Agency 64. Canna Brand, that get yeah. It. They, totally, they totally get it. Like, the girls at Agency 64 do all my uh, print work. They do all my graphic design work. They support the event series. Do and they, they do? Have a keen eye. That's all they're doing. They're a printer? No, they are a full service PR and marketing company that does like strategic planning for businesses. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. A sixty four, I yeah. remember. And I I thought they did PR. I the I letter A and sixty four right. written out. They're great. And what is her name? Uh Bridget Sadbach and Callie Scoff. Bridget. And they have a whole team there. Okay, great. No, I so I want three quotes, you know, you never know. So I called, I got a referral from another young lady uh, in the industry, and she said, you know, you got to call Sprocket. So I called Sprocket. Oh, great. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Her name's Aubrey. Mm -hmm. She came in. Aubrey Gordon. Yeah. She's great. So cool cards, cool branding themselves, and they were great. But, you know, we want to get three quotes. Mm -hmm. You always kind of want to get at least two, if not three. So we're trying to look. So we'll get one from A64. And maybe they have different ideas, Mm -hmm. you know, than Sprocket does. Yeah, absolutely. Um, But, yeah, I mean, it's so cool. So Canna Brand, two young ladies. Mm -hmm. Um, It's just, I don't know. It's so fun. Just people that are so, everyone is just so excited. And they're all, because they all came, like, Canna Brand girls, like, they're PR you know, the PR background and Agency 64 is a full strategic company. And now they have this whole new industry to be and the it, experts. Right. Of. The slate is clean. Right. Like it's not like like a lot of these marketing and branding meetings, you go in and you're like, it's kind of like Kellogg's. Right. This. Right. 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 But that's not the and case this anymore. One is like, this is like, you got to completely do it. Let's do this. Right. Like, let's say what it is. Let's no, decide. That's so yeah, it's so cool to think about, and it's good to have people like you that are that are new, and you know, of course, because you're usually super not jaded. Some of us are jaded, <laughs> but um, so you motivate them. But then you give us that. That's why we do this, yeah. you know. And we're so lucky. We're so lucky. We don't understand what what we're doing. Like it's just such a crazy. I just still can't. Oh, it can't. definitely looks like you know. What don't you're you doing. wake up, Chris, and you're like. Man, weed's legal. <laughs> Do you say that to yourself? Because <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, what? Every time I smoke my morning bowl. See, my dad is so cute. He's like, um, he's so excited for me. He's like, this could be a dream come true for him, right? Because he's been pro cannabis mm-hmm. for his whole life. But, um, but he had, um, he had some problems and with some health problems last last year and. I got him some top of the line medicine, and he's doing great Excellent. now. Um, so it pays to know people in the cannabis industry, yes. and like it would pay if you were a doctor. Mm-hmm. It is medicinal, you know. Well, mm-hmm. and just think about if your best friend was a doctor, how much tragedy yes. you could have saved, and how many trips to the doctor by just do this, do right. that. Like how many times did you go to the doctor, and it was, I mean, wasted. They could have emailed you. They could have emailed you. I could have sent them a picture. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is, I think that's coming right now. Is it? I think there's something, uh, technology on the phone where you can do something and then the doctor yeah. can look it over. I mean, I can, you can Skype with them. You know, it's not like he wouldn't be able to meet No, them. I think this is an actual right. program right. where it's not a picture, but it's an x-ray oh. or something. And it go, yeah, dude, crazy. I don't know if that's exactly it, but yeah, it was coming hmm. on like Nightline or something. And I couldn't uh watch it all but it's fascinating um so what has been the best experience so far oh my goodness um i think when the when this when the second event started happening like that night of that was like a moment that i was like this is really happening 
Um, Where people came in and were like, "Hi, Jane." Right, like, right, oh, right, okay. and then, yeah. right, and then the first, but the very, and the first one was just. In, like it was just insane and we had all this press and there were so many people and it was the first time we had done it so there were no systems in place so the second time like I had these amazing girls come in and they they're, uh, they volunteered to work for it and they, they worked the front desk job. aren't they awesome yeah. they're amazing really smiley yes. and friendly and helpful yes yeah. yes uh, yeah they're great and they're and they're in the zone and like checking everybody off and totally. I love it um, so that uh, that was all kind of taken care of and it started happening and then the best part was like seeing people that I had met already like I was excited excited to see my guests because I knew a lot of them and that part was so fun because it was right. really actually a party just right. like it had gotten all of a sudden this underground party that I could manage had gotten so big I couldn't manage it and so finally there was a moment I was like okay no this is what was, <laughs> this is what it's supposed to be like this is that's right this is the party finally that's right yeah so. I mean and that's um that's such a niche such a niche too mm-hmm. I mean um, you know, tours and stuff, but yours is definitely a niche. And uh, like you said, you can be, uh, helping out tour companies and stuff absolutely, like that. Absolutely. And that's what we're doing. And that's the best part about it, which you mentioned before too, about like ancillary businesses. Like I started doing this and now we book out the local art gallery that only carries local Colorado art. We've paid artists to do live nude body painting. We that paid massage cool. therapists. We paid, um, Three Tomatoes Catering that's been here 20 years. Oh my God. We have a DJ. Like, them. Yeah. This is making – all these ancillary businesses are getting more business through this, and See? it's great. Isn't that – yeah. Absolutely. It's you great. really need to add up one of your parties and – or <laughs> how many you pay? I have. <laughs> I will. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. No, it's you're been really good. So, Absolutely. So and the reason I say that is I never kind of looked at it like that, but then you start to meet people and they, they teach you about this. And when we're lobbying in, in D.C., mm-hmm. it's very important that you know – how many employees you have, what yes. what they bring in, blah, yes. you know, because that's what they want to hear. Yes. No, is, absolutely. That's yeah. a great. Actually, so, I will definitely bring those sheets. That's a great idea. Yeah. I'm looking because forward to that. Because that's, that's gigantic. I mean, it really is. Uh, Chris is waving something at me, so we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Ivita Wellness is committed to compassionate patient care while providing the highest quality medicine at an affordable price. At Ivita Wellness, patients can get top shelf ounces for $150 every day. Ivita Wellness also carries pharmaceutical grade pure CO2 oil. Ivita Wellness is located in Uptown Denver on 1616 Pearl Street. Open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can reach us at 303 303- 952-9150 or our website at www.ivitawellness.com Ivita Wellness is Denver's Compassionate Care Center. Tired of dispensary hopping? Trying to find quality meds? Look no further and get to know Greenworks. Our shops are stocked with over 20 strains of organically grown meds, including R4, the highest tested CBD strain in Colorado. Yes, we back up our quality with testing. While Greenworks offers only the highest quality meds, we don't believe in high prices, with eighths ranging from $20 to $40 and ounces capped at $175. With two cents, in Denver and one in Glenwood Springs, we're likely closer than you think. Call 303-647-5210 to find the location nearest you. Green Faith Ministry is for spiritual guidance, MMJ information, and networking combined with compassionate care on the way to enlightenment with all Green Faith sacraments. Green Faith provides charity assistance, including medical and food throughout the year. Contact them at greenfaithministry.com. And we're back. So... Okay, so now's the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, so Jane had this career that she's been mm-hmm. talking about. And uh, so so tell us the story. So like I said, the uh, parties were supposed to be underground parties, which was just one night a month and for one year. No one and knew see who what, you were. See what happened, yeah. right? And then, like I said, I just got so ingrained with everything, and then the press started and coming. excited and, and very right? excited. No, absolutely, it gave you some inspiration like, and some stuff right, you've been missing. Right, like yeah. I was like, oh, I, ha- I have to, get, I have to get back to Jennifer about that. Like, <laughs> right, <laughs> and it was like, I got, I bought a computer, I put on Outlook, like I was all in. That's and awesome. And so, um, yeah, so then everything just kind of took off very quickly in like a short three week period. I went from. Not like ch- like trying no to sell one tickets. No knows and, you, no, right? <laughs> yeah. And then it was the cover of the Denver Post, and then I met Maureen Dowd in the New York Times, and then Bon Appetit picked us up, and then Harry the t- Smith, yeah, Harry Smith, 
and the Telegraph. And when Harry Smith was in town, he met with so many people. I, I mean, shame on him for cutting me out. I know. Bastard. God damn him. I'm gonna Bastard. tweet something evil about him. No, I? I loved him. <laughs> I he, did love him too. He was great. Um, to cut in real quick, he was great. So we're standing there. And I always mess with them, you know, because right. they're bored as shit. Yeah, they interview they all day, right? So I always mess with them. And so I'm like, would you quit doing that? <laughs> oh, my God. Anywho, let's keep it classy, Denver. Um, oh, I like that. Slogan. So let's keep it. That's mine. That's can laugh. That's fine. Let's get, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll, I'll trade She's already yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, sorry. Go no, ahead. You were saying Harry Smith, you were giving him shit. Oh, he he just I was kind of te- teasing him and he's like, "You know what the key to a good a good interview is, Jen?" And I said, "No, what is it, you know?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, "You got to own it, you know? Cuz you're the expert. So just own it." And after that, I was like, blah, 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 blah. I probably get, I probably gave the best. <laughs> I'm sure you and did. his rule was, let's not talk about it right now because we'll mm-hmm. talk about it and then you'll space out. Right, 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 right. He goes, every interview, it's like, I talked to him before, everything's great. And then we get on camera and they're like, yeah? Yeah. No? <laughs> so, and he's like, what happened to going. that guy? You gotta dive in. Right? Yeah. So he was great. So anyway, so oh, yeah. you, you getting all this so, press. Yeah, getting all this press. And then the CNBC thing kind of started to take off a little bit more. And it became clear that I was actually probably going to be on television and like in, in the series. My parents be- got on it because they, they were at both parties and talked to people. And then Harry Smith started talking to my mom in the, in the kitchen oh, about, that's right. about her – how much she loves Julie and Kate's and, uh, <laughs> and granola, <laughs> right? Granola, my buddy Julie Dooley, as natural as cannabis. I know. That's, I know. Are you serious? Slogan. Yeah. Um. So they. Um. Yeah. So everything kind of started to take off, and I started to tell my my the people. So the, this entire time, um, my I was working a job in corporate America. I'm a, right. I'm a, which no one knew. I mean, right. no, no, nobody right. knows. Right. right. Yeah. And honestly, we're all so busy. I mean, we're no. You and I aren't like. I love working with you, but we no one even has that much time to be social. Like no. we're all yeah, you your know. party, right? <laughs> you're right, That's exactly. It. That's what you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this whole time, I've been a conference and event producer for a company for the past eight years, and I managed their Western division um, and did ten day conferences in the field of medicine. So, and I did that, and and my real name's Amy Dana Miller, but I created the Jane West to right. be uh, to be underground, right? Right. And yeah, Mary Jane of the West. So yes. So then. Um, we then then it blew up then and you're like up. oh no oh really quickly like i and i i what do they say to you though <sighs> they they honestly it is such a great company and they were very curt but very polite about it yeah. and just like should have warned us no, right right and i had but then it just it happened so quickly and then oh, as, yeah. long, as soon as you tight you know as soon as you start to peel it away you're like it looked like I had done so much, but I had only had one party by then. So, yeah. So, um, it was just the, the it was that one media hit in the month of January, and it did me in. But it's fine, honestly. It's the best thing that ever happened. It's your destiny. It's, seriously, I yeah. can't even. Everyone I've met in this industry is just they're so passionate about what they do, I know, and I know. and I haven't even been to that many <clears throat> dispensaries or grows yet. Like I, there's whole like divisions of this industry that I have yet to discover. There's a ton of people I've never met right. and never even right. seen their dispensary, and there's so, so many that have flipped over and right. Yeah, I mean right. it's 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 insane. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So, so yes. So, um, so what's, so uh, yeah, I was asked to resign and now I'm on to bigger and better things and I'm starting to do some work right now with open vape, um, with their audience development and, um, I'm helping out with the NCI fundraiser that's going to happen, uh, June 24th here, um, in Denver and the first national, uh, business conference, uh, for NCIA. Yes, yes. And so I'm so excited yeah, about it's gonna it. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, and I'm still doing my monthly events. Okay, so when's the next event? So the next event is March 28th. It's called Me So Hungry. It's all... <laughs> oh, um, Me So oh, Hungry! Yeah. Um, everyone that comes to the event gets a chork. It's a chopstick fork, and all the food is edible by chopsticks. So, yeah, it's going to oh, be great. Fun. Yeah, so Karmaceuticals is our sponsor for the event. They're just three blocks down from the art gallery, and you can go in there anytime this month and get um, a discount to ticket for the ticket. <laughs> nice! And then we're also going to have um, some royal blunts there, um, ro- a 
someone from Royal Blunts is going to be there rolling. So you bring in you BYOC, and someone will teach you how to roll. Well, that's cool. Blunt, so yeah, it'll be cool. Oh, the art. Uh, so Royal Blunts is going to make a big uh, piece of artwork using in carmaceuticals for this. Oh, blunt that's yeah. neat. All made out of blunt papers. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. I, know, I can't wait to see what it looks like. So where um, is that the same same place you've had it? You know, it's actually one? three blocks down. Okay. It's the Space Gallery, and now their their brand new construction is finally completed, and oh, it's nice. at four hundred um, Santa Fe. Four hundred Santa Fe. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. And when is that? March twenty eighth. March twenty eighth. Yep. And how do you get tickets? So you go online to edibleeventsco.com, and you go to the buy tickets tab, and you can buy your tickets there. Um, drinks tickets include entry. All food, all beverages. This one, this art gallery that Michael Burnett's built down at Space Gallery, it's amazing. And there's, um, yeah, there's a big outdoor patio. So it's going to be great. So if you are in for a high class, wonderful <laughs> cannabis party, you need to stop by this one. Absolutely worth every penny. You're going to spend more going out to the bar or not if you stay home, but <laughs> you shouldn't stay home because this is too, it's too much fun. I mean, it really is. Um, we had a great time. And in fact, the, the, I've never seen a party bus like this thing. I mean, it is gigantic, but it has a filter in it. Mm -hmm. Like literally, did you tell them? Well, I I did did hand select that bus out of their fleet for the event. I mean, it's because it was, uh, you know, it was a bit of smoking. Okay. Like, you know, if you know this one, um, Spigoli's van in what movie, Chris? (laughs) Oh, you weren't even born yet. Oh, Never no. mind. He was not. Fast Times at Richmond High. Yeah! Bada bing! <laughs> Have you heard of that movie? Look at me. No, you haven't. <laughs> You're so lying. Sp- who's Spicoli? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> See. Uh, Sean Penn, oh. actually. But anyway, um, so yeah, the filtration was amazing i'm like how does this happen so yeah the party was wonderful um if you're in for something unique definitely uh go so what 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 are your plans then now what are my plans what are my plans um i so will you take consulting clients absolutely okay. um so this week i have talked to two few brides that would like it as an element of not necessarily their wedding day but something about the whole their whole wedding weekend really yep. i also uh, spoke wow. with someone that runs a consulting company. So he runs a consulting company and he only hires c- consultants. So everyone works independently and he always plans these company retreats that are fun and he wants to do a four day uh, retreat here. So, oh we, my God, that yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. So we were going to, you know, uh, Red Rocks is part, is part of the national park system and he had never even been there before. So we're going to go there, but then everyone on the retreat will get, retreat will get a musical instrument because you can actually, um, Play okay. You can actually play instruments and just go down on the stage and do whatever you want at Red Rocks on the weekdays. So they're gonna have a little jam band of their own out there. That'll be so cool. Yeah, it's gonna be good. That's awesome. Well, I know that um, you're gonna be helping me with my uh, grand opening for my lab. Yes, I I'm gonna be having two grand openings. One um, for Can Labs clients um, to show uh, appreciation. Mm-hmm. for everything nice. um and then uh you know a few others and then uh, you know of course all my can of sisters and <laughs> uh, and stuff and then uh the next night we're gonna have one for uh legislatures mayor governor police you know uh, uh everybody right. on my task force group community uh so they can really see that this is serious business and don't joke about it because mm-hmm. we take it very serious. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. I want them all to experience um, this is what a pharmaceutical lab mm-hmm. would look like. Mm-hmm. This is the exact same instruments. You know, we're, we're serious here. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, we got – That's great. I, I can't wait for some of your ideas and to let you know. But, yeah, so we'll be having that. And, of course, Chris, you'll be invited to mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Georgia and, and, and Warren, of course, will yes. always be. And Chris, Max, and, for, yeah. that, for that matter. But um, so what is – what else is in the future? I mean, do you, do you think do you see yourself with a couple of big clients, just having your own business, or um, do you just want to get in and kind of? I most def- I, I definitely want to keep working with NCIA. Um, yeah, and I really think that 
we're at a turning point with like the Women's Cannabis Business Network that we can really start um, doing some great things even on a nationwide level because people keep reaching out to me from other states that are turning medical really? because they want to plan stuff. See? So, um, yeah. That's and, awesome. Right, so we can like really kind of start spreading all the wealth of knowledge that you women have here and how far you've come. And they're all just at that same point. And if we can even bring them up a couple steps so that they don't have to waste this amount right. of time. And then if they do that for the next states that go, then absolutely, we'll definitely have an incredible network. Well, I'm so glad I forgot NCIA. God, Aaron, Steve Fox. So sorry. Um, National Cannabis Industry Association. I definitely want to thank them. Um, without them, I definitely wouldn't be as far as I am with can labs. Mm -hmm. They have helped, you know, just lobbying in, uh, DC and just, you know, helping all around. Well then WCBN, uh, the women's can of business network is kind of a break off from that, but just for the late, the mm -hmm. women. So that's what she's talking about there. And we're going to be part of one of the NCIA events that Jane's going to be planning. Um, but really to, to get women involved and to let them know mm -hmm. they make a difference Absolutely. and to, uh, start their own business, Absolutely. help mentor. And what we talked about on our first call, I'm on the board, we talked about giving a few young ladies scholarships because mm -hmm. if their dispensary or, or the person they work yes. for, or if they don't have a company, yes. they can't afford to pay right. you know right. all that money every month. So right. we talked about that. Right. Um, and I know a lot of young women that I see uh, maybe in a dispensary, I'm like, God, she's mm -hmm. so great. And right. you know, Right. And this so. goes full circle back to what we said before, that there's so much happening and we can decide what it looks like and uh -huh. we can work on building its design from the very beginning, which is you don't get that many opportunities with like a Never. brand new commodity being introduced to the market. Never. So, really. <laughs> really. It's incredible. I know. Um, I'm very, very excited about what the future holds. And, and I do definitely want other women like other women reentering the workforce. To know yeah. that this is nothing but a incredible potential market where if you make the right moves, you could really have something real in a short oh amount my of God. time. Internet, bookkeepers. Um, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Handyman. Uh, any business right. you have, you right. can start a niche in cannabis. Right. Printing. And the more and more people and ancillary businesses we're using, the more we're proving that this is nothing more than – another industry that is a component of That's the American economy. That's professional. Right. And I want people to understand that um, they they we are under full regulation. This isn't, you know, like dealing with people without um, licenses. Everybody that is in this business is licensed, badged. And, uh, and so when you get into this industry, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's very it, – it, yes. it, take it very serious. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I just – I uh, – what are you what are you doing there? <laughs> okay, do that to the camera. Break. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Cool. Extraction Tech Solutions. Not only is it safe, but it offers one of the only ETL certified essential oil extraction systems on the market. Our equipment meets or exceeds all of the North American safety standards. Customer relationships are important to us, so after the sale, it doesn't stop for us. We are reliable and therefore when our customer needs us. We offer pre and post sales training, method development, services, and repairs. Extraction Tech, safe and reliable because it matters. Contact us at www.extractiontech.com or 720-515-9254. Ideal 420 Soil is preloaded to perfection with all your nutrient, microbial, and biostimulant needs. It's compatible with all strains and is good for a 22-week grow cycle from seed to harvest. This product is 100% organic and gives your marijuana that awesome aroma and smooth taste we all desire. Ideal 420 Technologies is well-grounded in soil chemistry, soil physics, and microbial biology, making them the most advanced soil company in the marijuana industry. They do the science so growers can focus on what truly matters, the plants themselves. No more mixing and feeding of expensive nutrient lines, supplements, and foliar sprays. Not to mention, the company is prideful in being the most consistent soil product that has yet to hit the market. Due to the results when using Ideal 420 soil, they are quickly changing the standard for cannabis culture. 
cultivation. To order the product, go to ideal420soil.com. Use promo code in the lab for an additional 20% off. This segment was brought to you by The Farm, a medical marijuana care center located at 2801 Iris Street in Boulder. The Farm carries premium cannabis, edibles, and hummingbird brand products. Visit our new cannabis lifestyle store for your local artesian glass, vaporizers, and hemp clothing. The Farm has been serving Boulder since 2009. Isn't it time you come and see what we have to offer? National Cannabis Industry Association would like to thank its members who represent the leading professional businesses in America's emerging legal cannabis market. NCIA is the only organization that has unified legitimate cannabis business across the nation to fight for real reform in Washington, D.C. For more information or to make your business a member, visit us online at thecannabisindustry.org. Oh. <laughs> he tells me, okay, you're almost back. So I struggle to get my head. And he goes, oh, no, we're, we're good. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. I said 22 seconds. 22 seconds. Stop. Okay, sorry. Didn't get the 22 seconds. Anyway, um, I'm so rambling today. But because I'm all amped up because uh, we get our, uh, what do you get? The final inspectors there or should be there by now. That's awesome. Right now? Um, right now as we sit here and speak? Uh, yeah, right now. From 1 to 3.30 was the window. And if we get final inspection, da, it'll da, be da, very good. I mean, we finally can. <gasps> oh, my God. Fireworks. Once ever. Yeah, Fireworks. literally. We'll be coming out of my brain. Because it, it, I have no brain cells. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Those are like tiny claps, like an audience clap. All clapping oh. at once. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of funny. It's like raindrops. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Sorry. I'm g- getting, I cannot. Anybody that says they can multi- multitask is bull yeah, yeah. because you can only pay attention a hundred percent one thing. And yes. don't tell me you can't. Like nope. it's so annoying. Yes. And, and they're like, no, it's just you. And I was like, no, it's pretty much you too. Sorry. Um, so what has been the worst part the worst part of this experience, oh. or maybe not. You know, worst is pretty strong, but but something that wasn't so so great. I really wish I was sleeping more. Oh. <laughs> that's one sign. That's one good. minor. But that's like, a good sign. But it's good. It is good. Um, let's see. Anything that you thought would be different that that is that you thought it would be. Um, it's just been such a roller coaster when you keep <laughs> like you we keep I keep seeing people build things and then there's like policies or rules or red tape and you have to like it all it's doing is slowing down this incredible idea. And so there were there were definitely some moments like when I, I started working with the guys that did my four twenty tours, they put together this January first event and then it got shut down. No, and I know. We, and we had like we did a lot of stuff for the, like, it was really supposed to happen. That's so funny. I met with JJ and I was telling him, like, call this person, call that right. person. Right. And then all of a sudden, nothing. It was so bad. Right. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. It was for four <laughs> hours during the day on January 1st. And they completely um, went to the bars and said, we will... Yeah prosecute yeah. it, it's just so stupid and then so it's like okay where do you want us to smoke right oh but you can't okay, smoke you can't at home because you have a landlord and do, right and you can't and you have a landlord and you're a renter and right and it's incredible i know um no absolutely so yeah there have been moments like that where you're just it just kind of takes the wind out of you um but i know everyone that's been in this industry has had that happen hundreds of times and yeah. i think that's what makes you guys all so tight and close Especially for the women, you bet it is. Absolutely, because this is not for the faint. It is not, and you're already in a man's world, another industry that's you know, right? More men, and um, so it's it's really tough for all of us. I mean, but but yeah, yeah. I think you know, at the end, like everything's moving so fast, it's hard to think about it. But like, like next week, I'll be going to Washington, D.C. with you. That's right. Um, to lobby with the NCIA. And then at while I'm there, the company I work for was based in Washington, D.C. And I'm going to go on, they were planning a happy hour and I'm going to go out and oh, see everybody. that's awesome. And I think like that, it'll, that'll probably be the hardest part. Oh, that's sweet though. Yeah. 
I just, I've been there a really long time. I know. But that doesn't mean you can never see him before. No, I know. And you're just going to go on and change the world so they can live in a better place. Yes. You know, it's that simple. How do they, like your friends there, how do they feel about it? Quit laughing. I mean, everyone, honestly, I didn't want it to be, no one had no, no one knew about it at my company at all. And so. So they all just saw you and they were like, oh my, I think that, is that Amy? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's how it happened. And it was just really? like you started peeling that onion and all of a sudden it just exploded. Like it was, yeah. But that's so. kind of, that's that means there was a I lot know. of people no, watching. Yeah, it's good. It's so good. it is good. No, it is. It is good. And I think I didn't even realize how I keep stopping and looking back and realizing how much bigger what we're doing is than I thought it was when it was yeah. happening. Like each one right. of those steps. Because then you see how it kind of like ripples out to everything else that's going on right now. So... It's so, so fun. It is. And and we, again, forget because we're in the middle of it. And so it's nice when somebody new comes along right. because we realize, like, we take so much for granted here. So much for granted. I mean, I sit there in my building and w- just keep watching the people go mm-hmm. to the dispensary. Mm-hmm. And it's like Nevada, like right. all right. different right. states. And I'm like, this is so great right. that they're – they're driving here, first of all, and then spending money in our state. Hello. Right, right. Which d- they're not coming here and then turning around. Right. They're right. going to stay in oh, a hotel. Because no, they- ama- <laughs> this is such an amazing place to right. live. I mean, right. I, I've lived in six different cities. I landed here and I was like, I'm never leaving here. Really? I love I. I love how arid it is. And I, I love that it is 50 degrees in February. And 70 just, it was. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> 70 it was today or it's supposed to be today i love i love this family. chris is making out with his dog i know <laughs> jesse stop texting he's got to do his job yeah jesse quit it <laughs> what is he texting you <laughs> so anyway we have an online forum and usually they're no fan of mine they're chris's buddies <laughs> so they are interrupting and making some kind of comment who knows um i I, you know, I talk about how this got me out of my comfort zone, and I would have – I actually wanted to be a DJ when I was, like, nine. And <laughs> These suit you. You look – I like this look. Up. <laughs> I used to go to Skate City, okay? I used to be mm-hmm. a roller skater. Oh actually, God, roller I, I actually did roller speed skating, and I went to nationals when I was nine <gasps> years old. So um, – and I have the pictures to prove it. So – um. Exactly. Well, no, that's more. That is. Do you but, wear? Do, were you wearing skirts or like a like a? Was were you in shorts? Like, oh yeah, shorts with a four with a number oh, like, and nice. everything. Oh yeah, it nice. was like it was serious business. Okay. <laughs> and a nationals. That means I was third in the nation, or I was third in the region. Mm-hmm. Nationals was two regions, <laughs> and I got my. Oh my God! They left. Kicked me in the dirt. Oh, my God. I was so oh. tiny. Tiny. Like, my relay partner, mm-hmm. she was a giant. And so she would push me, and I'd fly around the freaking ring oh seven oh times. And I would go, ooh. And I could never push her. <laughs> she always complained. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was so tiny. But I could go a long way, and I could go fast. And I was always third because I couldn't get around second. Mm. Like, I just – she was flailing. I, I don't know. But I never could get around her. And first was my relay partner, mm-hmm. Melissa. Mm-hmm. She was unbelievable. And um, Who was on first? Uh, Melissa. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I uh, was a little roller skater. Um, and they used to have this five-minute – not five minutes, like a minute where the DJ would come on and say no racing, pacing, changing mm-hmm. lane, blah, 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 blah. So my granny bought me this jukebox thing. It was like this high, four feet high, and it had the speakers on the top. Then it had an eight track oh cassette my. tape and oh. vinyl. Oh. I okay. remember running to the to, to the tape deck to hit record so I could yeah. record a song that was on the radio. radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that? so... And then it had disco lights under it. He thinks, he thinks we're joking. No, yes, it had disco lights under it. It had disco lights under it, right? And so I'd have a microphone, and I would play Skate City all the time, and I wanted to be a DJ so bad. Mm. And I had uh, there was two DJs there that I had total crushes on. You know, I'm like nine, and mm-hmm. they're like 16 or 17, you know? <laughs> Boy crazy, like always. Robbie and 
Turk? It was actually Butch oh. and Alan. All right. <laughs> and Butch is still my Facebook friend. But I used to play DJ all the time. But I would have never thought that I'd be doing this, especially with marijuana. Um, so I'm so thankful to Stanley Brothers for inviting me on their show mm-hmm. and really getting to to like it. You know, I think it's so awesome. It's so much fun. It is. And this is fun. Yeah, it's so much fun, and you get to shine a light on. Um, the industry here so people can, you know, start experience some stuff mm-hmm. Absolutely. and to learn some realities. Like I've talked about some pump and dump stocks. Um, everyone who listens to my show knows who I'm talking about. Um, but I just, I really want to help people understand and be part of the industry. And there's plenty of ways to do that without, you know, having to be in mm-hmm. Colorado Absolutely. or whatever. Absolutely. Um, so... Uh, but it's fun, and it I'm fun. gonna miss it big time. I'm really gonna miss it. Are you gonna miss me, Chris? You have to come back on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy those bows? Did you? I'm gonna buy some. I, I, bows. Uh, bows had headphones. Oh, bows! I thought you were talking about like bows for your dog's hair. Oh, for Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Absolutely not. G- actually, Gigi has worn a bow before, and she has a bathing suit. <laughs> Oh, my, my God, friend, your dog has a bathing suit? My friend Stephanie, she thinks it's the funniest thing that I have a dog that I dress up because anybody that knows Jennifer Murray or grew up with Jennifer Murray would know that you'd, I'd never have a dress-me-up dog. So she bought a ba- – she thought it was the cutest thing, and it's like a halter top. Mm-hmm. And um, she bought it in Hawaii or something. And these little – this little skirt, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> And then oh. – oh, my God, Tamar bought oh, – I can see the halter yeah. looking nice on Oh, her. it's hilarious. It's just stupid. I mean, it's funny. It's really funny. I love it. Yeah, she cracks me up. And then she has, she was dressed up for Halloween. Was uh, the Wiener Dogs dressed up? Hayes and Diesel? Hayes and no, Diesel. Yeah. So Gigi and Diesel, Gigi's, uh, Diesel's one of Gigi's boyfriends. Mm-hmm. Gigi's my dog. Lovely. And uh, he has a Wiener Dog. Diesel's a weenie mm-hmm. dog. Mm-hmm. And so, and uh, it's so scary when people go, God, your dog's just like you. Cause she is. She's like oh. psycho and she like <laughs> roll they're rolling around and she's like Rrr! and it sounds like she's attacking him, but she's not. She's mm, like going, no. ah. And he <laughs> loves it. And he just lets her like flip him right. all over the place. He's rolling. It was so it, it's just the cutest thing. And then uh Tamar has a dog named Oz, a miniature pincher, but it's a bigger miniature pincher. And Gigi um, and that's her other boyfriend, Oz, except Oz wants <laughs> nothing to do with her. He's like, nothing to do with he her. literally looks at her like, oh, oh we really God. have to come here. I'm not kidding. You feel <laughs> that from this dog. It's so funny. So he'll go hide in my room mm. so he doesn't have to deal with Gigi. It's the funniest thing ever. But she um, bought Gigi or she gave Gigi a, an Adidas oh, winter coat. It's nice. the cutest thing ever. They're really into their – I mean, they bring – they have like the full condo when they go take Oz places. Yeah, they're they're like, I love Hold it. On. It's their kid. It's yeah, their kid. She's not it's having a kid. kid. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Gigi, I'm like, oh shit, yeah. did I forget her? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's why I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Where are your kids? Oh, I think um, they're in the car. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> yeah. I was looking for them that I forgot. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. No. Thank God. No. Uh, Gigi's enough to handle, and Can Labs are both my babies. Those but anyway, um, let me see what time it is. It is time. What should we talk about? It's time to go. All right. Um, actually, there's a next show with Dave Madalena for the oh, Hemp nice. Connoisseur. Yeah. Have you met Excellent. Dave? Yeah. Yeah. I love him. Yeah. He's on from um, four to five. And he is wonderful too. I love Dave. He, him, and I have grown our business at, at the same mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. He, they were actually in my building across the hall from me. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yep. So him and Christiana, love them over there at THC. So if you advertise, yeah, you should get she's on getting, the THC. She's, uh, she's. We're working on some wedding plans for her. That's awesome. Yeah. Her and Jay Brown, so cute. Little cannabis couples. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Not for me. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, this is sign off for now. It won't be forever. Just have to get Can Labs up and going. Um, but I encourage you to reach out to me at Jennifer at CanLabs.com, G-E-N-I-F-E-R at CanLabs.com. Please check out Can Labs website. Um, it has some amazing, 
uh, information, usually for people that don't know a lot about cannabis. But you know what? If you can learn something new every day, uh, you want to do that. And and there's also test results posted there. So if you want to find uh, something with high CBD or high THC or an edible or whatever, it should be on there. Um, but anyway, it's I want to hurry so I don't have a shed a tear. I know that's kind of oh. silly, but it's been so it's been so much fun here, and I'm right down the street. So hopefully, you know, Dave will have me on his show, and and maybe I'll be back. But thank you, Chris, and everyone else. Um, I want to thank the Academy. Just kidding, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. And Jane, thanks so much for coming on oh to my, my last God, I show. Feel so honored to be here. Right and now. next time we we come on, maybe you'll be my first guest. All right. Cool. Take care.